Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you my new rebuilt Canadian sculpture. I'm Lance. This is my workshop. So I thought I'd start with some uh, still shots. Here you can see my sculpture after I completely took it apart. Here's the basic frame. Those bicycles on top are just sitting there. So here's some earlier shots when I was working on the steering. But I ended up going with a completely different steering mechanism. So here's my latest sculpture. In road mode. Front wheel drive. One wheel in the back for steering. And as large as in the back are my flotation. Those are fold down from going in the water. Show you some of the gearing on here. It's got a standard bicycle frame. And it brakes over here. And for going down to low, super low gear, I got a whole other set of gears chain to move over onto this other large gear for super slow moving up the hills. Should work well up the hills. There's a storage compartment in the back. For miscellaneous whatever, life jackets, etc. Now you see the rear pontoons are in their lowered water position. Plant flotation on the back and way wide for stabilization in the water. The front flotation isn't quite ready to be installed yet. It's close. So I have these T-brackets, as you can see here, they are going to be attached to the bottom of the frame that's going to hold the styrofoam. They'll have bolts going through these holes to hold the styrofoam actually in place. And these T-frames, just go right in here. So they're all the way down position, go there. And I'll put a bolt in through this hole and a nut. So when I go in the water and push up on that bolt and hold it in place. And when I'm on the road, I'll put the bolt through the top hole. So this is definitely higher up. A little more clearance underneath, real clearance. Oh, and these chains are to keep the last station from going back too far when I run in the water because it's not real stable that way, but the chain helps it, stabilizes it. Another feature I have is my anti-backup. So now I can't roll backwards. With both of those down, it will not go backwards. And a little bit of chain there, just so it doesn't overreach and go too far. So that was how I built my new kinetic sculpture. It's about half the weight of the original one. And it's a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter. In fact, it fits in my garage a whole lot better than the original one also.
I room I don't I have room to walk all around it. So again, this is Lance. It's my workshop. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit the old subscribe button and notifications and uh, share it with your friends.